Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. So, going to be a bit of a short stream tonight. I'm only going to be able to do one run of Darkest Dungeon. I, I'm going to cycle through things. I have been working on an art test for the past, I want to say, 12 hours straight. And, um, it's getting a little bit, uh... <laughs> it was getting a little bit stressful by the end of it, so I was like, alright, let's, uh, let's stream. I didn't want, I don't want to call the stream off ever, just because I like consistency. But I'm not going to be able to do, like, two hours of Darkest Dungeon. But then again, that's starting to get a little bit ridiculous, purely because I've got, like, a month's worth of backlog for this game, so it's getting a little bit silly anyway. Okay, so who can we send out? It's going to be the, uh, the low-level squad, so we're going to get, send out... Uh, we're not going to send out the Bounty Hunter thus far. That's been lackluster at best. Now, did we have... We do have... Oh, wait, shoot. Brap is busy. Brap is busy getting his brain fixed. So I guess we're going to send Anxious, Vitalis, uh, Crazed, and Rush. Do we have... Wol who? Okay, Wolkoff is bu busy being fixed, too. Alright, this looks like a... Let's see. This looks like a really solid uh, setup. No. Like, oh dear. That's the champion boss, isn't he? Hopefully we get some other missions down there. Otherwise, I'm going to be a little bit scared. Anyway. Ooh, it's medium length, too. Uh, in all seriousness, though, I cannot work for <laughs> that long. And uh, honestly, uh, I, un I totally understand the, like, importance. Uh, this is going to be a low-level group. We'll see how it goes. Um, but, like, I can, I can only work for so long before I start losing it. I've been having, like, really crazy uh, performance anxiety, if that makes sense, as far as working. Like, it's a bunch of environments, which is like, all right, you know, environments are not that bad. Environments are pretty easy for me. The problem is, uh, when I'm doing an environment for myself, I constantly second-guess things, and I'm like, Constantly developing it in such a way that, you know, it improves as I go. I have to get three holy relics. I guess we'll go uh, backtrack for this one. Um, oh, shoot. I forgot. Chris is compulsive. Well. Apparently, Chris now has claustrophobia. <laughs> okay. Um, but so, a bit of pers performance anxiety. And I think part of it is like... Uh... I don't, like, I talk about my old job from time to time. Ah, uh, yeah. But, like, I definitely have some, like, oh, shoot. Did I forget? I forgot to upgrade Vitalis. Alright, that sucks a bit. Why was Vital Vitalis the one that... Oh, the trap. I was wondering about that. Okay. Um, but I don't talk about my, like, old job too much. But I actually have, like, s oh, shoot. I forgot. Rush doesn't have, uh, I don't know. At the end of the world, he can just be single target. Um, but so at my old job, I had like kind of constant performance anxiety just because the, the, uh, the specific leadership of the place was very, I'm not going to say like unforgiving, but they were very critical of everything. So you had to do everything right, largely on like the first try. Or they'd be like, you need to work faster, you know, you're not doing this fast enough. Mind you, the first project I ever uh, had was make a game in a, about a week and a half. Uh, of course, I was only doing the user interface and stuff, but like, this is super fresh Wanderbot, who, mind you, I was working full-time, more than full-time, I think my first, uh, first two weeks of work, I worked 90-ish hours on top of midterms, because they hired me while I was still at school. Which isn't, like, the end of the world, but it sucked. And, like, I don't regret it too much, but I definitely did miss miss out on a lot of... Oh, wow. Battlefield Medicine actually is better than I thought it would be. And completely meaningless. Let's actually switch them. I forgot he can do incision from third row. Um, But, so, it was a really rough, like, set of first couple days. I don't know. But it wasn't, like, it wasn't terrible. I enjoyed it. But it was... I kind of quickly realized that the place I was working at, hello, ooh, hello, uh, the place I was working at really didn't care about me as a person. 
it was mostly just we need to get this product out you know snap 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 gotta go fast and uh not nearly as endearing or broken as sonic uh, unfortunately it meant also like a lot of the stuff that we do um a, a lot of the stuff we would do would would be like i'm not gonna say half finished products every product we ever did was finished it just wasn't necessarily mm. all right we're gonna holy water this one see if we can get her a nice buff ah yeah that's gonna be good um but like every product was it was cheap 90 percent of what we would do was like a clone of of like another game so oh, i think this is the right one okay good oh shoot it's the holy relics too that means less treasure for us um is this another one nope it's not locked display cabinet yeah why not urban doors already full all right well we can at least clear out that oh it was almost full um, but so we made, like, a lot of clones of games to the point where it felt kind of creatively bankrupt in a lot of cases. And it wasn't, like, it wasn't terrible, but it was, uh, so we worked for Nickelodeon 90% of the time. And, like, it felt like they weren't interested in ever having us make a good game. It was all just, this needs to be out within two weeks, or this needs to... This needs to be, you know, nice and promotional for everybody, just so, just so, like, people will watch more Spongebob, or feel like watching more Spongebob. This sucks. Wow, they're all faster than me. Okay. God, his accuracy is awful. It's a chance of hitting here. Um, gonna have to deal with it. Yep, thought so. At least he bleeds. I like him in the back, but I'm not gonna waste time switching the party around. Um, but so every everything was very focused on like you have to get this done now, and it wasn't it wasn't bad, especially in the beginning. It was it was a very like fun environment, and I did a lot of cool work. Um, and I had a lot of like kind of casual projects that I could work on too. Uh, which made it a little bit better, too, because I, I could spend my time kind of sl slogging through it. I, I had the menial jobs, but any time I was ever put on a project that actually needed something quick, it was... It wasn't easy quick. It was, like... Hmm. I'm trying to, like, put into easy words. It's like, I didn't like the work. Well, I didn't mind the work, but it, it was... I, I guess the easiest way I can say it is, like, pretty much immediately after I, ha I was hired, I had to do a bunch of work. I, I said it was, like, 90 hours, 80-something, 90 hours over the f first two weeks uh, when I was doing midterms. I was hired, like, I want to say it was late January, and, oh, okay, so I had, like, three weeks before things, like, really sped up. Um... But it, w it was to the point where once we hit midterms, I had to start working on work stuff instead of my midterms. And my professors were super understanding, and it was actually kind of a badge of honor for them because one of their students was actually already working at a legitimate company, which, you know what, I can totally agree with. But, oh shoot, why did I do that? That was dumb. Please bleed. Yeah, thank you. <sighs> but the pro the problem was like <laughs> I was supposed to be working on midterms and they're like you know we need we need this now and I'm like I I I can't come in I have class and they're like you know we we know your professor because the the problematic thing wow is everybody compulsive here at least he, at least that was possible uh, positive oh curious of course um but so. Uh, what, my, the CEO of the company was actually a, pro, a professor at my school. 
So he knew my teachers. So he was like, nah, they'll understand if you skip class. And I'm like, this just feels wrong, but okay. Because I, I never skip class pretty much ever throughout high school or college. It got a little bit worse once I hit college, but all right, fine. You know, I'll, I'll be the good employee along the way. Please don't get compulsive on me. Thank you very much. Um, but it was definitely one of those where it's like, yeah, you know, they knew my professor and I was pretty much safe across the board, but I did not sleep a whole lot for at least a couple of weeks. And it was, it was brutal. And like the problem was, uh, as a result, because I wasn't going to just not do my assignments, you still needed to finish them. That's probably worth it. You still needed to finish them regardless of, you know, whatever. And I d definitely didn't want that carrying over. Um, so what ended up, what ended up happening was like, I did, I had like some work to do. Actually, uh, so if you know Nickelodeon at all, you know any of their products, they have a specific one called Winx Club. Uh, Winx Club is like crappy teenage high school fairy thing for young girls. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's a totally positive show. But having a bunch of grown men work on that is... Yeah, ow. You know, the... <laughs> it's not exactly a topic of interest for me, or excitement. I actually had a, a friend who, uh, she... She did not like Winx either. She was about as tomboyish as she comes. Um... So... Let's see if we can keep with the stuns. Alright, kind of close. Um... So, she's super tomboyish, you know, plays hockey, that kind of thing. Uh, not necessarily that, you know, girly girls can't also like hockey. God, I'm terrible at justifying my opinions here. Um, but, so, she hated Winx. And every single Winx game, she was the lead artist for. It was awful. So I was, like, her supporting artist, because, uh, management could tell she was losing her mind. Uh, which, you know, not exactly a great, great situation to put anyone into. God, this is why I don't like lepers. Their accuracy is atrocious. Um... But so, you know, not the end of the world. Everybody kind of managed, but like, middle of midterms, I've already kind of let them know that, you know, this work schedule's not working for me because school still comes first to a degree. And, uh, so the art director did not care. So she'd be like super negative about anything I did, regardless of like what was going on. And it was just kind of like, all right, this is... This is not the greatest of uh, situations to be in. And I, and I powered through it, but, like, it definitely did set the tone for the rest of the time I was working there. Which was, you know, kind of demoralized and grumpy. Wow, that fit. Can't believe it. Alright, let's get rid of the key. Um, Wow, that's a lot of gold. Oh, back we go. Um, But, like, I, I think it would have felt better... I, I think truly across the board, it would have felt better if, going back to the whole, like, rush thing, if everything was just super relaxed, if that makes sense. Well, not relaxed, but, like, it wasn't just constantly, we have to churn out games on a weekly basis. Especially for prod products that were effectively clones of other things. Like, I think I've mentioned this before. I'm almost out of shovels. I am out of shovels. Oh, this is gonna get bad. Um, but, like, I specifically had to play for the management, uh, Mark of the Ninja, for at least a little while, just to demonstrate how the game works. Because Nickel Nickelodeon really wanted... Oh, please be the good kind. Yep, here we go. Uh, Nickelodeon really wanted a Mark of the Ninja clone. And eventually it did not end up being anything of the sort. Oh, butts. But it, it was just, to some degree, I felt just wrong working there. Because I was thinking, it's like, oh man, you know, I'll be working for a, a gaming company. We'll, we'll make, like, we'll make cool games and, you know, original projects and stuff like that. And for the entire year that I worked there, Oh, God. Wow. They just flat out murdered Rush. Well, that sucks. But it was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mark of the Ninja clone. It was... kind of bad. 
Oh, this sucks. Oh well, I can probably power through this dungeon if you know she was n if she was actually in the f back like I'd want her to be. Oh well, not the end of the world. I'll figure it out. Oh shoot, he's a backliner and he can't do anything. Oh well, this sucks. But I guess my problem also was simply yeah. Uh, I, I guess going back to it. Of all of the things I ever did for them, uh, n none of it, literally nothing I, I did working there, ever went into my portfolio. Uh, which is, like, as an artist, super depressing. Alright, so we've got maybe one fight left before we can escape. I'm gonna, I'm gonna power through this one. I think I'm gonna camp in this room. Please don't be a fight. Thank you very much. Uh, wow, that's like my first casual casualty in quite a while. Um, but, so, the reason why, you know, I couldn't you can't use any of that stuff in my portfolio, for starters, um, let's see, do we have, not a whole lot, alright, that's one companion, that's one, guess I'll buff her, de-stress him, that was not substantial. Wow, this, hmm, this is a bit rough. In that case, do we got any buffs here? Blight disease, stress resist. About as good as we're going to get here. Wow. Okay, close enough. Uh, but yeah, so the reason why I can't use, like, any of that stuff in my portfolio is largely because, um... Is, is largely because it was none of the artwork I did was original. I was in charge of fixing old broken animations. I was in charge of editing pre-existing images of SpongeBob together to create, uh, like you know, effectively YouTube thumbnails. My my entire job was to uh, to make YouTube thumbnails for them. Uh, wow, this is meaningless. Um, and so it's. It wasn't, it wasn't bad, but it was very, it was, it was useless for me. And, I, you know, 40 hours a week, often more, I was working crazy overtime. Mind you, this is the kind of place that forces you to work overtime and then gets angry at you for doing so. So, um, so I would often take my overtime and just kind of bleed it over into the next week, just so I wouldn't get yelled at, because... The, the boss was, like, usually super friendly, but that's just because he was never around. Uh, but at the same time, like, he was, you know, in charge of watching payroll and stuff. And so if you notice that, oh, hey, you know, you worked 56 hours this week. You know, why did you do that? You shouldn't work that hard. But then he gets angry at you for not finishing your product projects. It's like, all right. Uh, damned if you do, damned if you don't. So I kind of did the illegal thing and just would bleed it over into each collective week, uh, which is like the super shitty way, uh, way to do things around. Uh, but, I mean, what else was I going to do? And, like, it wasn't bad, but it always felt like I was just wasting my time there, just so I'd have money. And that, that hurt, because I, all, all I can say from that entire job is, oh, wow, we're done. Well, goodbye torches. I'm gonna leave before anybody else dies. Um, that was super short. That was a super short mission, and I'm okay with that, because somebody died. Uh, and I pretty much spent the entire time just whining about my, uh, my past employer. But yeah, no, I, I, w I go back and look, and I'm like, is there anything I can use here? And the answer is no, because Nickelodeon has, like, a private resource of just pictures of Spongebob, pictures of Korra. Pictures of all sorts of things, and uh, you, my entire job was just photoshopping those together. That's that's not portfolio worthy. None of the, none of those images are mine. I can't even uh, claim uh, like fair use because it wasn't. It was licensed work. And it's like all right, I uh, well, like I said, forty to fifty hours a week. I wasn't painting anything. 
Now we've got a lot of mental issues we need to deal with. Lots of them. So Vitalis, you need to get Compulsive out of there. Uh, same thing with Craze. Uh, this is going to take a long time. Oh, that's the wrong one. But yeah. So now I am... I'm done with that place, and it's definitely nice as a result. I got the... Wow, I got a lot of buffs. Oh, hey, we can go upgrade the... Uh, we can go upgrade the... Do, 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 do. The blacksmith, that's awesome. Anybody else need some de-stress here? Jerwolf. Eh. Which one's cheapest? Because I think... Who else needed it? Soliam abandoned. I thought Intense needed it. Nope, not intense. Jerwolf's taken care of. All right, never mind then. Let's go back to the let's go back to the blacksmith for the time being. Hey, Moonloon, I don't think I've killed you yet. Okay, there we go. Blacksmith is maxed out. Now, did it change? No, it didn't visually change. But this is why I'm I'm salty about my old employer. But this is also the reason why I'm like kind of concerned about working for another one, and like performance anxiety just kind of results from. I'm terrified of working for another place like that again. And, you know what? Buck up, get over it, get the job, be happy. But man, is that hard to work past sometimes. I think that's it for upgrades. Wow, yeah. All right, uh, so in that case, I will see you guys on the next episode of uh, Darkest Dungeon. And as always, thanks for watching, even though this was a super short episode, probably. Gonna have to deal with that. But, I can't, I can't believe, uh, well, I mean, Rush did get just kind of turbo-nuked in one, one go. Everybody's been wondering who Moonloon is. Moonloon has finally shown up. Anyway.